it's something when something appears as anxiety, when something appears as a conflict, when something appears as a pain, sickness, then it's a little bit difficult to immediately try to change, transform the matter into space, right? I'm not, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's difficult. But when something is more not fully manifested in the matter, concrete manifestation, when it's more like a fluid, when it's more like an energy, when it's more like a wind, and then it's more changeable. When it's more like a mind, then it's easier to change. Then, then when it's in the body, like a pain, when it's in the body, it's harder to change. When it's in the mind, it's easier to change, in principle. So, so the, but the change is, if you do want to change, as we always say, take three precious pills, that, be, that basically means you come back to the source. So you come back to the, your heart, come back to abiding trikaya. It's called abiding trikaya, resting trikaya. So something, some, that space, awareness, and warmth, not thinking about images and emotions and thought, visualizations and sounds and words and prayers, nothing. Just... In their, in their essence, in their pureness, in the heart. Sacred space, sacred awareness, sacred warmth, and you know what that means, but you're trying to experience in your heart. Maybe a, attention, like a local attention, lo, lo, local kind of localizing a little bit here. That kind of helps because you're, you're you have the experience of unsettling, so it helps a little bit. But stable enough, stable enough in abiding kayas, then slowly seeing the this second aspect of it, that there's a movement. There's a flow. It's like a, when you're trying to stop thinking, you start to stop, start, uh, I say, you start, uh, stop breathing. Have you noticed that? <clears throat> You're trying to be serious. No, breathe, but not think. You got it. You got it. It's a little bit like that. You cannot move and be aware. Exercising that. In a very subtle movement, exercising that. Then you move up into senses. You open your eye. So, look, in appearances, when you're, when you're looking, for example, if you're trying to see somebody, just think about the person. Let's think about somebody a little bit uh, better, right? <laughs> somebody you love, but sometimes you want to punch. Okay? Think about that person. Not somebody that you don't love and you don't care, okay? So you just look at that person, but when, when you feel like that kind of disappointment or anger or something like that with that person, but deep inside you, you feel truly love. And then when you look at the person, when the negativity is manifesting, you know you're not seeing the same person, right? You know you have different images of the person. You're, you're angry. You're looking at the same person's face, looking at somebody. But you are feeling... So, deep wound manifesting as emotion, anxiety, anger, disappointment, and projecting out in the face of somebody. Not only just sometimes you project out, then you even whatever the person is doing, even it becomes an issue, right? It's, we know like that very, very well in life. Even with the children, are very easy. We notice that very. You get mad at them because you are, you are anxious. You are disconnected. You are something happening in you. Then you think what they are doing is something wrong. And they, of course, they get, uh, they get. <laughs> you know. 
But when you come, you love them when they are naughty too. You know? What they are doing is crazy. And everybody is thinking, that, your son is really crazy. I love him. Look at <laughs> Look at how crazy he is. I love that craziness, right? But everybody else says, well, wow. <laughs> I'm having this pure moment. <laughs> but <laughs> sometime, the other way around, even child is fine. But you're having impure moments. So you actually project out the whole experiences of the reality is changing. But the changes are coming from inside, not from outside. So the integration of the space is very much, if you are go back to that space, awareness, and warmth, which is abiding space, awareness, and warmth, we remember we're talking about the view. view. That's what view means. View is something resting. Meditation is something arising, it's experience. Conduct is something manifesting out. So it's in the view, but then you're, you're trying to integrate in the movement. So you feel enough. Then you look at enough. You feel enough. Then you look it out. So basically what I'm saying is somehow you're able to, doing the exercise, you're able to change what you see. That's the main point of what I'm trying to say. <laughs>